The Mandalorian is finally back, and it returned to its stomping grounds on Disney Plus with a strong season premiere. Where are they getting the reinforcements? I volunteered your village. Of course, the latest installment leaves us with a number of questions regarding what lies ahead. But the biggest query that many viewers likely have revolved around the identity of the mystery man who appeared during the episode's closing moments. Those still wondering needn't worry though, as we have you covered on who he is and how he could possibly play into the rest of the season. The Marshal took Mando and the child, who may have actually gotten even more adorable, to Tatooine, as the two sought to find another Mandalorian in the desolate town of Mos Pelgo. Never met a real Mandalorian. After receiving help from the returning Pili Mato, the two make their way to the town, only to find that the Mandalorian is actually a man named Cobb Vanth, the town's marshal who bought the received the armor from Jawas. following the destruction of the second Death Star. While Mando wants to take the armor in accordance with Mandalorian law, Vanth offers it in exchange for help in eliminating a crate dragon that's been terrorizing the town. To this, Mando agrees. Eventually, the two realize they'll need help and, against Vanth's wishes, Mando forges a truce with the local Tusken Raiders, who also want the creature dead. To finally take down the monster once and for all, the Sand People and the members of the town end up working together, and, with help from Mando, they're victorious. Vanth, holding up his end of the deal, hands the armor over to Mando, and the two part as allies. But unbeknownst to Mando and Baby Yoda, a mysterious man watches them as they ride off into the sunset. So let's discuss who he appears to be. Boba Fett was likely the man who was watching the Mandalorian and the child. The man watching Mando and Baby Yoda from afar seems to be none other than Boba Fett, the iconic bounty hunter from the original Star Wars trilogy. Originally introduced in 1980's The Empire Strikes Back, Fett was a gun for hire who worked for crime lord Jabba the Hutt. At the end of that film, the fan-favorite character would deliver the carbonite-encased hand solo to Hutt after the smuggler failed to pay off his debt to the gangster. Years later, Fett would be reintroduced to the franchise in 2002 through the prequel trilogy in Star Wars. Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. It's here that we learn Fett is the clone, an adopted son, of bounty hunter Jango Fett, who, as he is here, was played by Tamura Morrison. So what happened to Fett? Well, in Empire's 1983 sequel, Return of the Jedi, he remains with Jabba and is present when he takes his sail barge to the Great Pit of Karkoon to feed Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and their allies to the Sarlacc. But during a scuffle with the blind Han Solo, Fett is knocked into the pit and seemingly consumed by the creature. However, it now seems this may not have been the case, though he is physically scarred from the experience. <laughs> how the character could factor into the Mandalorian moving forward. It was Boba's armor that Cobb Vanth had, and now it's in the Mandalorian's possession. As Mando is currently looking for other Mandalorians to help clear a path to return the child, Fett could be the key to returning Baby Yoda. Though it would appear that the bounty hunter is keeping a low profile in Tatooine, and he may not be so keen on getting involved. There is a possibility that this isn't Boba Fett, and it could very well be a clone rogue clone trooper watching the two right off. Still, my money would be on the chance that this is Boba Fett. Regardless, there's a very good chance Din Jaren, Mando, is going to cross paths with this character at some point this season, and Jaren may be able to convince him to help, or at least point him in the right direction. Hopefully, their initial encounter will at least include some kind of face-off. The reveal was definitely a pleasant surprise, though it may not have landed for everyone. Still, it's enough to get people thinking about the season ahead, and, if you're one of those viewers, there are plenty of ways to get more information. Believe me, you'll definitely want to be in the loop if this does turn out to be Boba Fett and he ends up donning that iconic armor once more. Hope you liked that video and if you haven't subscribed this channel, do subscribe it and we will see you in the next video.